all widely scattered. This coming Monday marks 60 years since the March on Washington, where Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. delivered the iconic I Have a Dream speech. Topeka will hold an event to commemorate the anniversary. I spoke with one of the organizers, Michael Bell, about the plans. Different people got together in different groups, uh, led primarily and, and most notably by the NAACP, um, to organize um, a march and uh, an occasion that would highlight uh, what was being sought, again, jobs and freedom. And sometimes the jobs part is forgot about that march, and it was just as, it was important as well, in addition to um, the messages regarding freedom. So uh, 250,000 people showed up at our National Mall, which at that point, uh, was one of the largest activities uh, attendance wise as far as people saying uh, we need to change. And of course, one of the most iconic messages to come out of that day was the I Have a Dream speech. How did that really resonate with people of all races and backgrounds? Well, I think that was the real appeal of it is that it did. Martin Luther King Jr. was an incredibly charismatic person. And he was able to um, go over uh, whatever hurdles people thought there were regarding uh, race and, and all of those other things that divided us. And to find a message that appealed to everyone about unity, uh, about brotherhood and sisterhood, and, and all of those things that bring us together to start making judgments about people, not based on the color of their skin, but on the content of their character. Why do you feel this is an event that should be commemorated in Topeka 60 years later? Uh, we wanted to commemorate it based on uh, what it meant then, and just as importantly, what it means now and what it could mean moving forward. And so uh, we have uh, an event plan uh, at 6.30 p.m. on the anniversary date, August 28th. Uh, it'll be at New Mount Zion Church at 2801 Southeast Indiana. Uh, it'll be, um, of course, there'll be in-person attendance, and then also there will be, uh, it'll be live streamed, and there's uh, information coming out about that so that we can mark uh, as a nation and uh, more intimately uh, as a city, uh, where we were, where we're at, and where we're headed. Your keynote speaker is Kevin Wilmot. What does he mean to the celebration and what will he bring to the event? A, a tremendous amount. Uh, a nationally recognized Academy Award winning filmmaker uh, right here from this area. Um, I think he was born in Junction City. Uh, lives in Lawrence, is a professor of film at KU. Uh, so he brings uh, Kansas sensibilities to a discussion that has national and international implications. What do you hope people walk away from their, this event with Monday? I hope, and, and you know, that's maybe that's what I hope, is I hope. Uh, I hope that people understand that even though it's been 60 years and a number of the issues that were uh, present then are still present today, that I hope that we understand that we can continue to work on those things. Uh, every step forward that we make is, uh, is a positive. The March on Washington celebration and recognition commemorating the 60th anniversary of the event takes place 6.30 to 8 p.m. Monday the 28th at New Mount Zion Baptist Church. That's over at 2801 Southeast Indiana. And as you heard, Academy Award winning filmmaker Kevin Wilmot is the keynote speaker. A popular film festival is back with the same great fun at a new fun location. Details on Slash and Bash coming up next.